Hello, I'm Nigel Pease and I'm here at Bowsley College looking at one or two music production techniques related to Pro Tools software. In this example we're going to look at three of the edit tools and some of the common uses of those tools. Throughout the example I'm going to be working in slip mode and I will be using one or two shortcuts that will be Mac based. However, on your screen you'll see the PC equivalent of those shortcuts if you're working on a, a PC system. Okay, so we're going to look at the trimmer tool, the selector and the grabber. The first one that we'll look at is the trimmer, which is this one here next to the zoom tool. So we'll select that. Uh, a typical use of the trimmer would be to remove unwanted noise from the beginning of a region. Uh, this is a bass region here and you can see where the bass player started to play but we've got a little bit of noise uh, before that so we can click with the trimmer and drag to remove that noise up to the start of the bass player's performance. A quick shortcut, just simply pressing the right hand arrow will move us to the end of the uh, selection and so we can move the edge of that region in with the trimmer also. Okay, the next tool is the selector tool. The selector tool has various functions. Uh, we can make a selection within a region in this way. Um, you may want to do that for audio suite processing or something like that. Or you may want to actually remove that piece of audio. So if we make a selection, we can press delete and that will remove the piece of audio there. I'm just going to use Command Z to undo that. Suppose we'd made that selection but we didn't want to remove it, that was the bit of audio we wanted to keep. Uh, you could use the shortcut Command T which is for trim to selection and that will remove the audio on either side of the selected area. So again Command Z to undo that. We can also use the selector to simply place the edit cursor. So if I click with the selector uh, but don't drag, so I'm not making a selection, I've just created uh, a, a point where the edit cursor is, I can now uh, make a, a cut in that region, uh, separate the region. So using Command E, I've made a simple cut in the region to split it into two at the point where I drop the edit cursor with the selector tool. So just undo that. Uh, we may want to place the edit cursor and remove everything that comes before it. So trim the region up to that point. In that case we could use the shortcut Shift, Option and 7 which will trim the region to the edit cursor position. If we just undo that again, suppose we wanted to remove everything that comes after that particular point where we've placed with the selector, then we could use the shortcut Shift, Option 8 and that will remove the end of the region from the point at which we place the cursor. So again Command Z to undo that. The last tool of the three is the grabber tool. The grabber tool allows you to make a selection of an entire region with a simple click, so clicking on that region has selected the whole region. You can also with the grabber tool move the region around in that way. So hopefully you can see that a combination of the trimmer, selector and grabber will enable you to do a great many of the typical uh, edit functions that you would want to do for audio regions. So there we are, an introduction to three of the edit tools and some of their functions. Uh, it is worth pointing out though that the uh, trimmer tool and the grabber tool have variations. There are different versions of those tools and all the edit tools uh, are affected by which edit mode you're in. So if you're in slip, spot, shuffle or grid, then that will affect how the edit works when you, when you make that edit. Uh, so there's a lot more to explore with edit functions. Uh, but hopefully that's given you a good starting point with an introduction to three of the tools and some of the typical uh, uses that you may, may have for them.